What's going on everybody? It's Rashad from 212 Exotics and in today's video, we're going to be giving you a closer look at clutch number two and clutch number three. Let's go. Once again, guys, it's Rashad from 212 Exotics and thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. In today's video, we're going to be giving you a closer look at clutch number two and clutch number three. Um, if you don't remember from uh, my previous videos, Clutch number two is going to be the Banana Clown uh, to the Black Pastel. So um, got some really good odds in that clutch. And then clutch number three, I don't think I shared with you guys, or maybe I did because I hit a female banana. Yes, I did. So I was pretty excited about that. So um, yes, we're going to be showing off clutch number three. And um, before we get into that, I want to show off something. I actually got mail. Um, I don't get mail, so I'm excited. <laughs> um, this came from Philip Collum at Pack Pythons. If you guys do not know who Philip Collum is, make sure you go check out his channel, check out his uh, Instagram, check out packracks.com. If you guys don't know what that is, he's creating his own uh really highly sophisticated rack system that is uh easily uh convertible with tubs uh, i don't know if convertible is the correct term for it but he's creating his own rack system where his tubs are going to be interchangeable so kind of excuse me so kind of like this ve6 rack that's sitting right here how i can use the uh v8s the v18s and the bigger tub so basically the eight court the 18 court or i'm sorry the 11 court v11s the v11s the 11 courts the uh 18 courts and then like the 20 something or something like that so um he's definitely doing that but got a package from philip column let's check it out oh got an envelope haha -ha. but I've been getting on Philip's case about not having a shirt. So <laughs> guess what? He sent me one. So <laughs> Philip definitely sent me a shirt. Uh, much love, Philip. I will be probably wearing this in one of my videos. Otherwise, I'll just be wearing it because I think like a lot of my collection now is reptile shirts. So thank you, Philip, for that. And he sent a letter. So let's check that out. Oh, and some stickers. Boom. Again, pack pythons. Got some stickers. Boom. There it is right there. And we got that one. Boom. There it is. And then we got this one right here. Boom. Never slacking. So thank you, Philip, for that. I definitely appreciate it says uh welcome to the pack family your support is deeply appreciated it has been so much fun to grow and share our experience along the way be sure to check out our new site packracks.com and stay tuned for the update so yeah just like i told you guys um he's creating his own rack system or has created his own rack system and he will be uh putting out more information about that so now let's start by getting into uh clutch number two which was the banana clown to the black pastel. All right, guys, here is clutch number two. So as you can see, we hit some pretty good odds. We got uh, two banana black pastels. We got three black pastels, two bananas, and a normal, all 100% head clown. So they are a little feisty bunch and they've already been eating. So <laughs> I'm actually tired of getting bit by these guys. So um, this is what we're using. We're gonna use paper towels again, cause I'm tired of getting bit by them. But uh, <laughs> as you can see, is a banana very pretty banana and um, about these all of them are pretty much spoken for so let me see if I can get some better color on it there we go so uh, banana 100% head clown and then we got the normal 100% head clown and then we have a black pastel girl who is 100% head 
Pet Clown, if I can get the focus, there it is. Then we have Banana Black Pastel, 100% Pet Clown. And this one looks really funky. Um, I like it, but uh, I think the better looking one is this next one, which is right here. That guy is just amazing. Um, so that guy is already spoken for. As a matter of fact, everything in his clutch is pretty much spoken for. So um, there's that. Another banana, 100% head clown. And then this girl is probably the meanest out of all of them. <laughs> but uh, she's also spoken for. Um, Black pastel, 100% head clown. And then as far as black pastels, I'm probably going to go with this girl as the best looking one out of the entire clutch. She is just phenomenal. Like that banding, well, not banding, that dorsal, that deep dorsal, um, those bright colors. I mean, she just looks amazing and she's spoken for as well. So that's clutch number two. Let's go ahead and get clutch number three. All right, guys, here is a look at clutch number three. And again, this pairing was a banana clown to a yellow belly that was het for pied. So all of these babies are 100% het clown and 50% possible het pied. Um, so I'm just going to go through what I think my odds are. Um, as far as the stunner of the clutch is going to be this girl right here. And this is a female banana. I hit a female. And um, what's good about her is she's not yellow belly. Um, I don't see, I don't see her being yellow belly. Her belly's like really clear and really straight down the side. So I don't think she's yellow belly. But um, nonetheless, it is a female. So you can definitely definitely believe that this is a holdback. All right, baby number two. So this guy is what I believe banana yellow belly. Um, this is the orangest guy out of the clutch. I don't know if I can make them. There we go. Um, this guy is the best looking guy out of the clutch. And the way I can tell that he's yellow belly is just look. I don't know if I can focus on it, but I don't know if the camera's even picking it up. But that belly is insane. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can definitely tell that he's yellow belly. So this guy is also a holdback. Um, so those to me are the two stars of the clutch. Then you have this boy here who, I don't know, his punk, his, uh, pattern's really funky. Um, he's got some like white specks in the alien heads. I don't really know, you know, exactly what all is going on here, but I mean, he just looks amazing. I also do too believe that he is yellow belly based on his belly. So, um, he is going to be available and like i said they are 100 percent head clown and 50 percent possible head pie um based on how they look i just do believe that they'll prove out um then right here i originally thought it was a yellow belly in the egg based on how it looked coming out but upon further review and shedding and a few meals and just the belly i just don't see yellow belly however towards the end of the belly those uh, tracks. So I do believe that that's what makes me believe that this clutch will prove out head pied. Um, nonetheless, she is a good looking normal 100% head clown that is a uh, possible head for pied, which I think I'm gonna hold back as well. They're trying to escape on me. And then the last baby out of this clutch was just this little normal. Um, so this normal will be available. I'm probably going to sell them as a pair. So one banana yellow belly, head clown, possible head pie with this normal. That is the same. So that is clutch number three. All right, guys. So as you see, clutch number two and clutch number three are doing well. Um, like I said, nothing is available from clutch one. And um, only two snakes are available from clutch number three. And like I said, I'll probably be selling those as a pair which is a banana yellow belly that is 100% head for clown and 50% possible head pied. And then there's a normal that is 100% head clown and also 
50% possible head pod. Uh, based on how they came out and based on what I know about the yellow belly, uh, they will definitely prove out, at least I believe so. Um, a lot of people don't like to take chances with 50% hits or possible hits, but hey, in this game, you take that chance, and if you hit, it's big. If not, then, you know, we'll try again next year. So um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, hit that like button below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you comment and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video where I'm going to talk about clutch number four and clutch number five. Um, so we'll touch bases on those um, just so you can see exactly where we're at with those. If you've checked out my Instagram, you have already know what's going on with Clutch 5, um, but you guys don't know what's going on with Clutch 4, and that is going to be a surprise. So again, like this video, comment on this video, make sure you subscribe and share, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.